And this story is called, How the Camel Got Its Hump. Camel. Welcome. I am Sherry Zod, and I know a thousand and one tales. Today I will tell you some camel tales, for the camel is a most amazing animal. Every part of its body is just right for life in the hot, cold, windy, and dry, dry, dry desert. But no part of the camel's body is more amazing than its hump. How did the camel get its hump? Listen, and I will tell you. And there is Sherry Zod. The great storyteller Aesop says the camel was created by the mighty Greek god Zeus. One day, horse asked Zeus for a longer neck a broader chest, and a built-in saddle. The next thing horse knew, why, he'd become a camel. But if you think that would satisfy the camel, you do not know camels. The Chinese tell a tale of camel asking the creator for broad feet for walking on shifting sands, long eyelashes for keeping out wind, and a hump or two for carrying food and water. The Creator granted all of this, but was the camel happy? No, no, because all the other animals laughed at its funny looking humps. Oh, and here are all the other animals laughing. Shouldn't laugh at others. The camel asked to have its homey, pardon me, the camel asked to have its homely humps removed, but this could not be done. How can I go on with all the other animals looking down on me? wailed the camel. You shall look down on them, thundered the creator. From that day on, camels had such a haughty look that no animal ever dared laugh at them again. And camels still have their hairy lump, hairy humps, which come in handy in the desert, as you will learn in my next tale. Next tale. Long ago, there lived a bandit and his hard-working camel. Day and night, they rode over the endless, shifting sands. They rode on in the heat of day. They traveled through the cold of night. They rode into whirling sandstorms. Camel's feet became flat from walking. Its eyelashes grew long from squinting. Its chest and knees grew furry from resting on the cold ground. Camel became strong from carrying heavy sacks of food, water, and coins. But never once did the bandit share his food or water with poor Camel. So Camel learned to do without, except for what it could find in the dry, dry, dry desert. One day, Camel's broad foot bumped a magic lamp that contained a genie. A genie? As everyone knows, if you ever find a genie, it will give you three wishes. So the bandit scratched the lamp and asked the genie for 50 bags of wealth and 50 years of health. Before he could make his third wish, Camel grunted, I walked us here. I found a lamp. I want a wish. See, there's the genie, there's the genie, there's the camel, and there's the bandit. Very well, said the genie. What do you command? Camel said, I wish I, the water I carried was for myself. Instantly, camel had its hump. 
And the bandit had his 50 bags of wealth, but he didn't pay taxes on it, so the bandit was sent to jail where he was always thirsty for 50 years. So remember, pay your taxes. But a camel is never thirsty unless it forgets to fill its hump. But what about the most famous camel got its hump story, the one by Rudyard Kipling? That story takes place when the world was so new there were only a few animals, including the lazy camel. During the first three days of the world, the other animals worked very hard. Then horse asked camel to trot with him, but camel said, <clears throat> dog asked camel to help him fetch and carry, but camel said, Oof. ox asked camel to help him plow, but camel said, nah. the animals begged the Dijin or genie of all deserts to do something about the lazy camel. He won't trot, said horse. He won't fetch said dog. He won't plow, said ox. He just says, humph. I'll humph him, if you'll kindly wait a minute, said the genie. Helikazam! To the camel, the genie said, do you see that? That's your own very humph that you brought on your own self, very own self, by not working. How can I work with a hump on my back, the camel humphed. The genie explained, you can work three times harder because you can live off your hump. And the camel still works three times harder because it has never caught up with the three days that it missed at the beginning of the world. That was very confusing. However, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll have another story for you as soon as we can. Bye!